friends, it's Nancy, and I'm here to do another Big Book of Ideas project. Uh, this time, I am borrowing from um, Rachel from Ro Roxy Creations. This is her uh, weekly challenge. So what she did was took some envelopes and I'm going to grab a ruler. I'm sort of intrigued by the idea of trying to make this a 45 degree angle. So I do have an angle here. And I guess I can go a little more like that. Alrighty, let's try that again. Yeah, I uh, was just clearing up all the mail I thought, oh, it's been a while since I've done any um, take out the trash sorts of videos. Um, and I saw this in passing. And I thought, okay, there we go. There's a project to use up these envelopes. I think I got five all together. So these envelopes, they have all been slid at the top. As any good junk journal journaler will tell you, that's how you open envelopes. <laughs> and the rest, I'm just chucking right into the recycle bin. Right. So, um, give them this paper to glue on. I've got some book page here. This is a wraparound pocket that's been made here. So the idea is, um, your your pocket would go like this, and then as you turn the page, there's another. Um, another pocket on the opposite side, but is this going to be big enough? I might need bigger paper. Yeah, I might need bigger paper. I got to look for some paper. That was a lot harder than it needed to be. <laughs> oh, so I've got this old dictionary. I just want to find pages that don't have any pictures on them. I'm going to glue it like that. Not exactly a wrap around. I'll do some ink. There's a little bit of this white showing. I don't like that. But, c'est la vie. 
while we wait for those to dry, I have a bunch of little card things that I got. I got some stamps. bought some stamps the other day. Um, I'm not going to do these little booklets. I'm just going to do these little flatty ones. Those can go with whatever. And I thought, oh, some of these are going to make good tags. Um, oh, I also have this paper. This came from a library book. The dust jacket. Or the library book. So hopefully I can get most of these on here. Oh, I'm, I'm just going to pause and do that. Okay, so um, I've decided that I want to decorate these pieces um, sort of in this sort of flat lay. I wonder what that means. <laughs> I mean, you lay stuff flat. Um, and so I've pulled out a bunch of Timmy stuff that I have and I should use up because now is the time of year to get new Timmy stuff. And um, I also got out some fussy cuts, uh, birds, I got out some stamps, I got out, yeah, um, so this is, oh, this is from uh, 2017, July, August. Summer, Somerset Studio and Heather Patterson Riggs. I don't know that person. Uh, Texas. Instagram is at Heather underscore Patterson. I thought I'd start like this. I laid out the first one gonna need some ink and I'll have to decorate both sides oh that Doug he's in a good mood today he's a whistling and a singing and He's just carrying on. Um, I'll go grab my art glitter glue. Let's see if it's running. Yeah, it looks like it's running today. This is a stamp from my collection. I think I'll go this way. This is from those collage tiles. This way and that way. I think I'm going to go that way. Now I don't. 
don't remember which way it was. Do I want you there? Nope, other way around. Okay, no problem. This is cut from a book. Oh no, he's back. <laughs> okay. Love it. Okay, this one I want to do a bird on. I've got a couple of birds that are blue. That angle is kind of nice. That is kind of good too. What do I have that's blue? Grab a stamp. These are nice.
I'm just cutting that collage strip. And what can I do there? My light just flashed. looking better. I like when when the items are inked they kind of settle into the background a bit giving it a, a more cohesive look. I'm going to let his little tail droop over that a little. All right, there's the first one done. Okay, so I just recorded the longest video ever, and most of it was me just fussing with bits and pieces and trying to make them fit. So I'm going to scrap all of that, and I've sort of arranged what I think might work. Let me show you the ones I finished. So this one is blue on both sides. This one is green. 
on both sides. This one, I'm going to grab my ink. Let's see if I can remember. All right, let's start here. Yeah, I wouldn't, I would have shut my video off. <laughs> I wouldn't watch me. <laughs> it was bad. Uh... So this is from a Timmy collection. This is fussy cut from a book. I left the other morning to go to work and I had left my pin out of my glue. I left the lid off. My ink. I gotta get it together. This is a collage, what do they call these? Collage tiles. This is a fussy cut from a book about butterflies. This is a fussy cup from a book, <laughs> this teacup. I like that. Um, I have to do the other side, of course, but let's grab another one. So this, this is a piece of ephemera from a, I don't know, some Some scrapbook, something or other, that have been hanging around my stash for a while. This is a collage tile. This was fussy cut from a book.
course, a stamp. Little mushrooms. This is also from a book. Yeah, I think, in fact, I think I would start with my fussy cuts before I did anything else. These are going to be the most unique, I, I think. We go so um, as I said I've got to flip these over and do the other side but that sort of gives you an idea of you know how I started making these pockets and I just darken that up a bit and um, I can't say it was super simple. <laughs> I struggle a bit with this, but uh, I like the opportunity to use up these small bits and still, you know, making something that's actually functional. So I will stop now and um, I will uh, come back again soon because. I have all of these. These are the the pieces from the uh, uh, packages of stamps that I recently bought. Uh, so they they came from a collection. So these were um, they were in the plastic packaging with the groups of stamps that I bought. So I just. I, I put some plain paper on the back, so this came from a dust jacket of a book. This is some Amazon packing paper and a book page on the front. So I have to do something with these. They're all ready to go. They've already been glued and inked and trimmed and everything, so um, they're, they're ripe for the picking. All right, I'm going to let you go now. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.